Well, the New Zealand Body Art Showcase is celebrating 10 years, presenting some of the best special effects and body art magic from Aotearoa and around the world. We have grand winner of this year's NYX Face Awards, Casey Taylor, who is working away here on her twin sister, incidentally, Taina, and world champion in special effects, body painting and makeup, Yolanda Batrams, here to tell us all about the event. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you for having me. It is so good to have you guys here. And, and I actually didn't realise that you were twins because of all the makeup. You look so different. <laughs> Container. It's incredible. Um, Yolanda, you've been on the cafe before showcasing some of your incredible work. Yep. So tell us a little bit about your background and your career. Oh, so yeah, I've been painting people since I was like 18, I think. So yeah, over 20 years now, I've been having quite a career of traveling the world and painting people. That's so. a pretty cool job to have. It is a pretty cool job to have, yes. It's definitely never the same because you're always working with different bodies and different, different faces. Canvas. Yeah, exactly. So uh, yeah. And amongst that, there have been some pretty cool film and TV projects. Tell us about some of those. Oh, well, I actually worked with Jesse, who's normally here on the show. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I've transformed him into some um, special effects, creepy creature. Um, uh, yeah, worked on Lord of the Rings when I first came to New Zealand. So it's kind of started off in film and TV that way. But um, my, my main focus has always been about body art, really. And just transforming bodies completely. Transforming yeah. a full person into a completely fantastical creature, yes. It's so fascinating to watch work as well, and watching Casey work as well. Um, so you're the MC of this year's New Zealand Body Art Showcase, aren't you? Yes, so I what, am. What Great. do people actually expect if they come along? What do you see? Oh, well, um, this year it's going to be quite an exciting event, I think. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so it's a Q Theatre. Um, so the venue is going to be beautiful. Um, there's going to be a lot of dance in between. Um, there will be over 35 contestants that would have been preparing for probably already for a couple of months, especially if they're in more special effects categories. They'll be making prosthetics and headpieces and uh, lots of things you want to add to the body. And then on the day, they'll be creating the body art for about like six, seven hours, creating full presentation of like... Wow. sensational things so um, the theme is uh, water water element um, so there's going to be a lot of different categories around water and so yeah the models will be parading showcasing their beautiful artwork Gorgeous. Um, yeah and it's going to be choreographed and beautiful can I just say quickly what are you doing there Casey you've got a stencil out there like we have you know when you're doing your drawing at home yeah yeah so it adds a bit more dimension to the makeup look so I always do it around about the last step and it just like completes everything. Excellent, okay, wow, continue, continue cool. as you were. So you talked about uh, the, the water is very much a central theme and, you, and you've got categories within that, but you've yep. got an amazing judging panel too. Oh yes, yes we definitely have. Um, of course we have uh, Sir Richard Taylor heading the judging panel, which is, he's uh, been a patron for the Body Art Awards for many years now and we're so excited, we're so happy to have him. Um, he's always on the scout for talent at this event as well, which is really cool. Mm. Um, and there's definitely been some really good um, special effects artists that kind of ended up working at Weta at some point as well. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good, especially for a lot of students, they really kind of start off with this event and showcase to the world. So you could look at it as your CV essentially, yeah, couldn't you? Absolutely. Yes, totally. Do we stack up on the, the world stage, like in New Zealand, there in, are some, globally? Yeah, there's definitely some good quality artists. Um, Sophia Boo Peterson, she has won the Body Art Awards. Um, I'm not sure which year, but she definitely won and she's gone onto the world stage and won the world championships twice as well. So, um, yeah, and she's working at Weta and there's multiple other ones that end up going, you know, teaching mm. at schools and stuff. So, so uh, a lot of really good, good artists are here. So the people that are coming to, to be involved with this one, where, what are their backgrounds and where do they come from? Are they all professional or is it some people um, just like to like, use the body it's, as a it's, canvas? A, it's a bit of a mix, uh, but most people would either be students at makeup schools, so they kind of have like as a category at their school there to go and do full body art. Um, it also translates really well from face painting. So there's a lot of face painters that kind of go, hey, I can paint more than just a face, let me do the whole canvas. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it's uh, it's definitely ties in with that. Um, just normal makeup artists and then people that are really into special effects and do prosthetic work and stuff, you know, it's yeah. it 
all kind of comes together with that. Obviously, in terms of our model here today, there's a bit of a family tie, but where do you find the people who are, you know, happy to sit there and go through that whole process? Oh, the models, yeah. the fine models. Um, there's a lot of people that are quite keen on having that full experience of Until transforming. Until they realise how long it takes. Oh, yeah, it can be pretty <laughs> strenuous. It's a, it's a long day, especially for the models like standing, you mm. know. You want to be of a model that can stand still as well. Um, but, yeah, like, I never really have a problem finding models to be transformed. Do you have to prep the body beforehand or is there anything you need to do before you sort um, of get I tell my models to moisturise the night before if they want to do anything, um, not on the day, but yeah, shave your body, that helps, yep. you know, really hairy canvases, they're tricky to put straight lines on. So. Not so good here. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's hard to paint on beards and stuff. We could put lots of glitter in them, that's, that's good, but you know, to paint it's hard. This is looking amazing. Thank you. <laughs> it is looking super cool and I can see what you mean by the stencils there, adding a little bit of something special there. Yeah, it really, really so does. easy as you just saw me do it. What makes a good body artist? Oh, as an artist? Um, well, it kind of depends on which category and what kind of body art they'll be doing. If it's for competitions, um, you want to be able to work fast um, and have, you know, really plan out your design beforehand, know exactly what you're going to be doing on the day because you won't have time to fluff around. Um, so, yeah, you've got to be organised and prepared um, and practice. Lots of practice. Lots of practice. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Thank you so much for coming along today. Oh, Thank you all. Welcome. It looks Thank absolutely you. incredible. Love the eyes too. <laughs> and the 2018 New Zealand Body Art Showcase is going to take place this Saturday at Auckland's Q Theatre. You can check out the Q Theatre website for tickets and the New Zealand Body Art website for further details.